There are varying degrees of autism. And this is more for your parents out there because you probably know this already. But I always tell people when people lead off with parents lead off with to me, my child is autistic. And I'm like, okay, tell me about the degree of, of autism that they have. And they're like, what do you mean by that? Well, you know, it's like most impairments, it's not one size fit all type of situation. Each person's condition varies. So what I need you to do is I need you to describe for me you know, what the limitations are, what types of problems that they have, because it's important to understand that just because your child has autism doesn't necessarily mean that it's a slam dunk. So what does that mean? Well, you need to know, you need to be able to discuss to social security, how does your child interact with others? How does your child do with in terms of attending and completing tasks? How about acquiring information? How about their health and well-being? How about caring for themselves? All of these things may seem annoyingly redundant when you're asking the questions, but the simple fact of the matter is, is that if Social Security doesn't know how limiting the condition is, merely just saying that the child is autistic is not enough. So I can't stress this enough. Don't just focus on the fact that the child has autism. You want to be able to discuss in detail the limitations that they have and be able to provide the medical evidence that supports that the limitations from their autism is at such a level that they should be entitled to disability benefits.